you're still watching ways now international kissing day <clears throat> emphasizes the significance in showing the importance of love and how important it is to show faith care and of course love through sweet gestures to your loved ones now a simple kiss on the forehead shows respect whereas a warm kiss on the cheeks shows the bond of love which one do you like <laughs> forehead and on the lips on the lips right not cheeks huh. mary went straight said forehead and on the lips. That's what I was saying. Ignore the forehead part. <laughs> <and you're focused laughs> on the lips. Forehead. So wait. There's this kissing technique, right? No, we have to talk about it. It's international kissing. How, which other opportunity will I have to talk about kissing, for goodness sake? You know this kissing technique that where somebody wants to just eat all your, plus your nose are, oh, God, calm down. <laughs> It's but really you, embarrassing though, because but you, I think a lot of people tell, don't know how to kiss. Yeah, a, a, a lot though. A lot of people don't know and, how to um, kiss. I don't think there's any I, manual. I don't know about a lot because <laughs> you never had to kiss a couple of. No, they watch now. They watch <laughs> film. Ah, <laughs> Angie, where you day? Don't don't be like that. I mean, but over your years of life now, I mean, even if it's five, it's still a couple now. Okay. So, but I feel like because I hate this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't break up my leg in this place. It's, I did not do any bad thing. You know, and I'm even very, if you did, that's fine. I'll be my darling. So, but I think that I've heard a lot of people complain, yeah. right? Like, especially when it comes to issues around, you know, intimacy and all of that. The men yeah. just rush and all of that. And, you know, I find it difficult. First of all, oral hygiene for me. Hmm. So I avoid kissing. Like, literally, if you're kissing me, my teeth is locked. I don't want to, uh -uh, don't enter anywhere, don't be there. So don't be, don't ah. want you finish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. So kissing is not, kissing before we kiss you, something must, <laughs> you must actually be really, how do I put it? First of all, you must be good for me to kiss you. What then do you mean by I must be comfortable with you for you to kiss me. Do you understand? So I know they do kissing. Okay, so okay. even when you've gotten to being comfortable with the person, what if, is not what you expect. Should I tell the person? Yeah, you know, because it's, it's very confusing. I have a friend who has a bad breath. And, you know, like, every time he talks, like, the speed does come out. Mm. But, like, I, I can't. Mm. I, I actually just cannot tell him. Well, how would that conversation go? I, I, where would I start from? Yeah. I, that's a... Well, it, I, I wish, yes, I... Mary, trust me, I understand. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're having, maybe you're in a meeting or you're sitting down beside someone and the person speaks and you just hold your breath for the next couple of minutes just so that you won't be rude because you don't want to really look away. <laughs> hold my are, breath, say what thing happened. And they are, like literally, here. But the breath <laughs> is so bad that it gets to you. So... It's crossing your ventilation purposes. Like, Can you smell me? <laughs> my airwaves. You're blocking my airwaves. Yeah, so you would have to hold your breath. Mm. How do you tell that kind of person in that kind of scenario? No, but I think we should talk about mouth odor, though. It's something that is very prevalent, and a lot of people, you know, don't really pay attention to it. Like, literally, help the next person near you. And if you want to be intimate with someone, you know, that you want to... Because saliva exchange and all of those things, all those things are... Which was a disease that Diola took that broke out on Monday that has to do with, you know, all this, um, whatever, fluid, oral fluid exchange that I think it broke in, is in Abuja or something. I can't remember the name of it. It's one funny... When you say it broke, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah it just like... Yeah, there's an outbreak. There's an outbreak that is, is, is going around. So, okay, I mean, yeah, like... That's scary. That's, yeah, that's why you have to, before you just say you want to kiss anybody... Kissing for me is very, very. I can it's give quite, you. It's quite a major. Yeah, thing, I can. It's a major thing for me. Like before we get even, uh, before we get to that point where I would open my mouth and actually kiss you as a person. Ah uh, no, you must. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there has some. There are some things you must tick. I know Sabi kiss I don't know. On that note, Mommy. it is over for about kissing. <laughs> Mommy eh? and Daddy. <laughs> So the trick to kissing, you know when you're acting, you just lock your teeth and just don't. I I, I know mm. definitely there are different. It was types not. Of it's kisses. not. Um, 
It's not intimate. Yeah, mm. that's it's, why it's not going to you know get you to that next step mm. if the tongues are not. Right. <laughs> I think we should go for kissing classes. Uh, who, who are you going to practice no, on? No, you don't need to practice on anything now. You can yeah. have those, yeah. You can have those um, dummies and all of that mm. that are lumptious. Mm. I like plum lips, though. They Very plum, yeah. That's right. Mm. You know. I, I used to wonder why people, you know, used to do the... The feels. The feels. The well, feeling um, their lips. Um, you know, it's so... Yeah, like, guess, it, it just looks so luscious. I don't really... And when it... Especially when it's soft. Gloss. Aye, damn. <laughs> Mary, I have activated something. <laughs> Because it's okay. We you know the international <laughs> happy. Please make sure if you have a partner. Kiss someone today. Kiss. Give the person a very, very beautiful kiss oh, on okay. our behalf. Um, it, and it could be anywhere. It could be on the forehead. Yeah. So it could be. No. Oh, yeah, forehead. Yeah. yeah so it could be. Your, your, it could be. Your, it could be. Your child. Your child. Yeah. How about that? You know, it could be Other your chick. sister. It could be your brother. Mm. It could be your spouse, mm -hmm. your boyfriend. It could be the uncles now. With I can actually give you a kiss. You know, let I'm me saying. give you a kiss on your. Yeah. Oh, mm. Thank you. International yeah, kissing. Yeah. <laughs> NJ, you are bad. You are a bad girl. You are very it could be bad. Emojis as well, you know, via text message. Yeah. yeah, send I'll, send emojis. I'll send you this. <laughs> I'll send you this. I beg, it's okay. That's fine. NJ, where did you find for us in the news? Oh, so, well, my story is uh, it caught my attention. So, uh, Loma is uh, going to begin sealing properties without waste bins from friday mm. so um the lagos uh the lagos waste management authority lawman has announced that it will begin sealing uh properties without waste bins on lagos island and mainland from july 7th the executive uh, director of finance, Mr. Kunle B, confirmed this in a statement on Wednesday, July 5th. So, um, and he was, he did this and he said that the exercise follows an earlier issued um, notice to affected areas two months ago. So he gave a, they gave a two months notice and now they have, you know, gone out to say that they've given a deadline which is Friday the 7th, that's um, tomorrow. So from tomorrow, they would be sealing up properties. I'm, I'm just surprised. I'm just wondering how that is going to go because um, this, it means that a lot of properties, both residential and commercial, will be greatly affected within the Lagos, uh, Lagos Island and mainland, mm -hmm. which is the, entire, the, the, the entirety mm -hmm. of the mainland, which is Ikeja, Oshodi, all those areas. And I want to even know how that's going to go, if it's going to be... Um, because if you come to my property and say you want to sell either my business or my house, you know, my residence, based on the fact that I do not have waste bins, well, there's going to be an issue. So is it, are they going to be going around with police? What kind of agency is going to be involved in that? I would love to see how this will pan No, but out. they used to do all these things in those days where they would come to you, you know, especially your cars. Your no, I think it's a good... Um, it's a it good is. Move. It is. I just... You're just thinking of the enforcement. Yes, part, right? it's always the enforcement that is a, mm. that is a bit of a concern. Mm. So I would love to see how it's going to pan out. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And just kiss and make up. <laughs> Mary, yeah, what's your news? Um, the U.S. Secret Service is investigating how cocaine was found at the White House on Sunday night with visitor logs and footage combed for clues. The discovery in the West Wing, which contains the Oval Office and other working areas for presidential aides and staff, led to a brief evacuation. Secret Service agents found the powder during a routine inspection in an area that is accept accessible to tour groups. President mm -hmm. Joe Biden and his family were at a Camp David in Maryland at the time. Mm -hmm. A senior law enforcement official told the BBC's U.S. Partners News that the substance was found in a storage facility routinely used by White House staff and guests to store mobile. Okay. So the investigation is still ongoing and we will hear... So
so you see yeah. that we are having more information. Yeah. Like yesterday, now we didn't know that that particular wing is also open to tour. To tour. tour. Yeah. And it's also the it's area also where the where, where the staff store their, their phones, phones and so and their personal items. Because so, the news from yesterday, as I yesterday, because we didn't have mm -hmm. that much information, um, or this information hadn't come up by DSS, it just seemed like it was between Oga Bye. and Son, yes, so. <laughs> that, you know, between both of them, yeah. it just shone, it, you know, beamed the light on them. And now we're getting more information saying yeah, that, that, you know, it's they not, were not even absolutely in yeah. the White House. So department. my story is about the thread. <laughs> of course. I have to talk about it. It has to be. Definitely. All right. So there's a new app um, that has been created by the founder of um, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg. Um, um, it's called um, Thread App. So it's just almost like Twitter app, right? Um, I saw uh, about how many hours ago now, I'm not sure, but it has, it has you know, comfortably signed up over 30 million, um, what's it called? Users. Users. You know, they've downloaded it. I am sure by the end of this night, you know, it would have hit maybe like 50 million because the numbers are growing by the second. If you've not been on that app, you would, see, you need to go there and see that. All your Twitter <laughs> faves, favorites, Instagram favorites, they've all taken over the app, especially for, for us here in Nigeria. And there's a story that I just want to quickly touch on because there's an update, right? It says um, X Corp threatens to sue Meta over Twitter clone, that's in output in quote, threads, in a letter to CEO Mark Zuckerberg for engaging in systematic, willful, and unlawful mis appropriation of Twitter's trade secrets and other intellectual property. So if you, because if you look at this thread app, mm. it is just a very, very friendlier version of Twitter. Mm. Do you understand? So, um, they already, they already plans to like, um, what's it called? Sue, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, because again, he was the owner of Twitter. <laughs> Have you not been owner? And now decided to sell to Elon Musk. I mean, who owned Twitter before? So he understood how the algorithms and everything. Mm. So what I think they've done with Thread is that it's so much friendlier. I mean, I signed up um, today and when the person, Mori, Mori was telling me, well, you need to go on Thread and all of that. And she said she's so much in love with it that, you know, at some point, a lot of people were disengaging from Twitter again because maybe of the negativity and everything. So she likes the flow, the algorithm and everything. On Thread, you just need to just, you know, sign up and link it up with your Instagram account. See me, they do marketing for them. That's how she. That's how she was marketing them all day. But I'm saying to you that if it is true, I don't know what would then happen to the app. But the app has already gained a lot of traction in just one day, or let's say two days that it's been launched, right? So I mm -hmm. um, um, and that's what I always say with technology. Yeah. The truth is that you can never be sleeping because as you are there like this, somebody else is already looking at how they want to create this edges hairstyle. Will make it a lot more attractive and funkier. That's yeah. how it works. Are you saying something? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so congratulations to Mark Zuckerberg. Um, well, I, I, I would be surprised to know what, how that will pan out. You know, when you say you're, they're going to come for him for trade secrets, what kind of secrets? What kind of contract did they sign? What did he sign over? He knows he, the. He knows how the. He's like replicating. You know, just made it a very sexy and nice version. That's what all apps do. Mm. That's what they all do. Mm. But they just make something different. Different, yeah. But I want to say to people that you know, for anybody that wishes to, I, I think I will bring Mori on the show. Anybody that wishes to do anything on social media, right? Now is the time for you to take advantage of social media platform. Trust me, the money. Is like gold money. It's like, in fact, Mori was saying that it's like, uh, what did they call the money? Like, you know, like drug liquid money because gold. it's so liquid gold. Yeah. It's like liquid gold. Like, it's so, um, the amount of money that you see these people making, that's why you see that all the influencers, they didn't even waste time. Everybody was just jumping on it because you know that as soon as your numbers grow, right. you know, influencing is a lot of money. I didn't even know how much people were making until today when I had a conversation. I said, wow, mm -hmm. it's a lot of money. So for anybody that wants to be serious with the future, because the future is technology, and a lot of all this content will be online, you have to jump on all of this trend. Don't say, oh, I'm too lazy. Because I remember they were telling me that time, oh, go on Instagram, go on TikTok. I said, where am I today? 
a word is enough for the words. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll take a break now. When we come back from that break, let's discuss visa scams. Stay with us.